So this is a property I've been to before. I solved the problems with ventilation in the main part of the property, but now there are issues with dampness in the subfloor void. What they've done is they've raised the timber up and dried it out using dehumidifiers. Uh, and I'm recommending using fans as well. Listen to the survey. I can't see major rot and um, you know these although the there's rust yeah. um, the biggest concern oh that's got that's got um, woodworm there is it woodworm or weevils because they well wood, wood, wood weevils are a form of woodworm ah uh, because when I asked the it's drawing, likely to be wood weevils yes I agree yeah, yeah. Um, and, and all at the end of these floorboards that they pulled up, I mean, because they might have died with all this drying out, they could see weevils. The and actual they, physical weevils. Yeah, um, they, they said, they used the word um, wood, they, they said the word weevils. Yeah. Because I, I said, is that the same as woodworm? And like you said, no, no, it's not woodworm, but it's weevils that grow in damp conditions. So they only grow where you get um, rot um, and most commonly cellar rot. Uh, so it means that there is there is some level of rot there, yeah. but and it is softish. But I wouldn't I wouldn't be worrying too much about it. At well, least the thing is that we have dried this out so much, right? And yeah. I think what happens again when it's covered up, you know? And the interesting thing also is that. That's hygrometer or whatever. Hygrometer. Is, is, is it still hanging there? Uh, whereabouts is it? Oh, I think it's fallen off actually. It was. It, oh, yeah, I can, I can see it down Alex there. Moved it the last time. I can see it, it's over there. Yeah. I mean, it does look on the damp ish side. Um, um, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking when all these humidifiers are out. Um, I got the readings from that machine. Okay, that would be useful. And um, it, as soon as it rains again, it goes up to. So I don't have the readings of the wood itself. I just have the readings of that. And as soon as it rains, it goes up to ninety-one percent, even with this everything working as hard as it is. So I, I, I think I think what you're what you're saying about the um, patio being too high is is actually the root cause of the problem. But I'm going to have a, a better look on the outside. Um, I don't jump to conclusions. Yes, I can uh, also share with you that I happened to meet the man that lives in the flat opposite number three. In fact, he was going to, he was doing an irony about reaching out to you. I don't know if he did. Um, I don't believe so. No. Um, because he says he has to have a, a dehumidifier on all year. Oh family. yes, no, no, I I heard that, but I mean I think that was yes, I read that from um, Alex. He, but he doesn't touch his flat. Actually, doesn't touch this courtyard. It's on the front side. Um, I think that's likely to be a separate issue though from this. Okay. So that's. That doesn't look too good there in the corner. Yes, but that was the other area where we saw the This is outside, immediately outside. This is outside. Come well, I'll have a look outside again now. So the important thing is to keep the drains unblocked and to really check it. Uh, so one of my concerns is that these are old Victorian drains, probably 150 years old, and they're likely to be cracked inside. And I would say that's a good chance that that's, that's the source of the dampness, um, although subfloor ventilation should be able to cope with some degree of moisture from, from drains, but it should be checked out with CCTV. There's somebody coming around with a, a bucket of, of water and just testing each one out, making sure that it flows away. Um, and then you've got these cracks. Now, these cracks should be filled. They're, however, not much water will go in there unless the drain is blocked. It's when the drain is blocked that you get lots of water that will go in through these cracks. But yes, f fill those with a, uh, a filler, um, probably a cement-based mortar for bigger ones that uh, uh, 
plastic for smaller ones because it allows for expansion. Um, but you've got an echo drain and it all flows away reasonably well. So it, on the face of it, it isn't a problem. But clearly, if it was blocked, and you said it was up until two days ago when it was cleared. We had the, they had the drains outside two days ago. We don't know if they were. We weren't here two days ago inside, so we don't know. And the flat that I was talking about is on the outside. It doesn't touch the inside. So I don't know if they were here on the inside oh, okay. two days ago. I only know that... Well, I'll test this drain out and just see yeah. whether, it, whether it's working. It looks a bit blocked now, so yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll check that one out. A solution is to put an, um, a, a fan onto the external vent. Yes. Uh, and the, there are specific ones that you can get um, that are made for subfloor ventilation. Yes. And, and I'll put that in the report. And that that solves the excess vapour in the subfloor void, but it's not the... The root cause will be the water coming in, uh, either because this was blocked uh, and or is blocked. I don't think it's blocked at the moment, but I think it has been blocked, you can see from that. Um, but there are also gaps and cracks that need to be filled. But I, I think that those are relatively minor. Yeah. But it, but if this is blocked, then they they well, become major. Gaps, big exactly. Gaps here. Exactly. But what, what I'm saying yes. is, if it if it's flooded, yeah. then it becomes an issue. Yes. If it's not flooded, then it's not great. But it's not. And what about just the fact that the, there is no water, no groundwater to drain here? You know, it's well, it should it should drain through this, though. I would have thought it's very little when you consider you've got the whole building, everything on there is coming. But it, but if it's blocked, then it's yes. a problem. But yeah. if it isn't blocked, but you can, I mean, it's likely that it's going through here. But yeah, because it's just that I'm, I'm not going to conclude too too yeah. soon. But yes, I, but I, I would say that um, you can mitigate the problem by. By having the the ventilation. Do you think you need another so, one? Well, there's the good arguments for it for, for on a building-wide basis, but because if there's yeah. a problem in this flat, you'll probably find there were other problems well, there with are, other there flats. There are problems with other flats. But that, but I think those were above floor. The, this is below floor yes. issue. I mean, there yeah. was an above floor issue Indeed. before because these properties were built in the old times, and people, you know, they there's a lot more condensation vapor yeah. produced than there used to be. Yeah. But what you the specific issue you have here is below floor. It's below, yeah. Um, and I think with the other neighbour, it's probably above floor, but I don't know because yeah. I haven't seen it. Well, I can show you what the original ones look like. I know, but 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 I don't think the um, the style of air brick changes anything. It's the location is the, is the same as the original one. Ex except that surely the original one would have been under the floorboards. Not necessarily. I doubt it. Um, I mean, it's possible the whole thing has been raised up. That's what I think, because when you look around the side, I think when they put the gutters in, that was the easiest way for them to do it, these gutters. Instead of digging down, they just lifted these the These are okay, uh, yes. But I, I, I think they're a good thing. I mean, you have, you've got a specific risk here, so I need to look at this, because you've got, this is the lowest point, yes. and, and this is where the water is likely to run to. You're so right, once again, so. I think that it's possible the patio has been built up and that some moisture is getting through, but a cellar should be able to cope with penetrating damp. That soil, that's water coming through soil, passing into the subfloor. It's the lack of ventilation that's causing the problem. And this type of ventilation is probably original. It's what's called periscopic. So, it, it goes um, from above ground to below ground. It allows you to have the ground floor at the same level as the outside. Great from an interior design perspective, but not so good from a damp perspective. The simplest solution is to add an inline fan uh, and making sure you have wire mesh to stop any rodents uh, getting through and committing suicide. Uh, and you need to obviously have um, wiring i think it should be done on a building wide basis uh, i think you want to dry the the floor out as much as possible uh, use a fan to speed up the process uh, and um, but but it, you can um, 
you have to think of the ground subfloor void as being separate from the the above floor uh, and um, you, if you've got the ventilation through there even if you've got a slight amount of moisture coming it should be fine i would have the 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 drains check the cctv and repaired and i think i think this is a freeholder issue because i believe the subfloor forms part of the freehold rather than the leasehold but that's for you to to um challenge argue discuss okay oh and as far as the rot is concerned once the dampness goes away it will stop growing the wood weevil will disappear appear, will disappear keep measuring the subfloor relative humidity monitoring it uh, it should drop down below about 85 and then obviously over time less than that uh, it will go up when the the outside uh, is wet because outside is 100 percent relative humidity when it's raining so it naturally will go up but it should come back down again uh, it didn't strike me as that they were major structural concerns but your freeholder should ask a structural surveyor for to check that and they may have to just build up some brick pillars but i don't think anything particularly major uh, i don't think there's a need to replace the timber per se thank you and do subscribe and see some more videos